I'll be showing you step by step how you can add images to the homepage of your Shopify store. So make sure you stay with me until the end of this video. Also, if you're enjoying any of the content along the way, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below. So let's dive right into it here. Once you're logged into your Shopify dashboard, we want to go into the theme customization. So go down to online store in the left hand side. And this will load up your currently select theme. You can see here I have Don. This is a copy I made previously in another video, but it's going to function the same way. Next, you want to hit customize. It should be a green button here and it should by default load the homepage of your Shopify store. So as you can see here, I've added an image with banner, an image with some text beside it already to this store. But let's start by just closing these existing sections here to make it easy to add a new one. So to add an image to your homepage, it's quite simple using Shopify's theme customizer. So what you wanna do is hit add section. And from here, it's gonna show you quite a few different sections you can add. So we can see featured collections, featured products, but we wanna pay attention to the image ones. So there's gonna be your image with tech, your image with banner. You can also add different collages or have different columns with certain items inside of it. You can also add different products here if you're looking to add product images. And this will also include a link to the product. So let's start here with image with text. So we can see this element shows up at the bottom here. If we wanna drag it around, we select these six dots and we can move it anywhere on the page. Now I'll just leave it at the bottom here. And so the image with text will include some preview text you can write in on the right. So to edit this, you click on the element, go to the right side, you can just say new image. And then left here, we can then select the total element go back to the right hand side. As you can see where my mouse is hovering, we can then select the image we're looking to add. So there I'll just hit explore free images to start. And I'll just select this random image here, hit select in the bottom right. And you're gonna get some different customization options with this as well. We can see the image height, adapt to the image. Maybe I'll just make it small here so it's gonna fit within this section. You can set the width on desktop, the placement on desktop, the position, the alignment, the layout, and color scheme. So if you wanna change this to mobile, if you select mobile here, you can see what it's gonna preview like on mobile as well. Go back to desktop here. You get a little few more options in terms of padding and the mobile layout. So that's image with text. The next section we'll take a look at here is gonna be image banner. So this is gonna be similar to the section on top here we can add a background image with text overlaid. So if I scroll back down to the bottom, I select this element overall, go to the right hand side. I can see I can add multiple images. Let's explore free images, add my first one here, hit select in the bottom right. I can then additionally add a second image. Let's go to explore free images again and add it here. So it's gonna create them side by side if you're looking to do that. You might not be looking to do that and you can then just remove the second image. You're also gonna get different overlay opacity between the text and what's behind it in different options in terms of alignment and the color scheme. And if you wanna edit any of the items inside of it, just the text, you just simply click on it and go to the right hand side again. Before I take a look at the last two image types, I first wanna thank our sponsor ProfitCalc, the one and click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real time calculations on how profitable your Shopify store actually is. It's gonna break everything down so it's easy to understand, and sync seamlessly with all your different ad platforms, cost of goods sold, and transaction fees. It's gonna give you a variety of different analytics and breakdowns so you can make better business decisions for your store or multiple stores. There's a link in the description below to access a 15 day free trial through the Shopify app listing. If you search Profit Calc in the Shopify app store and look for this logo in the top left, you can find it there as well. Let's take a look at our last two sections here. The third one is going to be slideshow. So you can add multiple images and have them rotate through here. As we can see, we can do this automatically by default. So let's add a few images here to see what that looks like. So I'll go into the first image again. I'll select this bridge here hit select so it saves. I use the toggle at the bottom here. I can rotate through the slides. So let's go to the second slide, select the overall element, go to explore free images again, hit shop favorites, then hit this next image and I'll hit select again. When I scroll through the elements, I can now see my second image. So again, you're gonna get customization here on the rotation of the slides, certain things such as the text in the image, as well as the positioning on desktop and mobile. So let's take a look at our last section here, and this is gonna be the collage. So by default with the collage element, it's gonna have a video product and collection section outlined by default. You only allowed three in total, but what we can do is remove one of these. So if I wanna remove the collection name, for example, and let's say I just wanna add an image, it's also gonna automatically rearrange the elements based on how many are included. So I'll hit add block here, I can select an image. You could also just remove everything else here, only having a section of images rather than having a video and a product and so on. So I'll hit image again, 
ad block image. That's going to give me three separate images to add to my homepage. Again, the process of adding it is similar to before. So I select which image I want to add. Go to select image. I'm going to go again to the free images. I'll select this coffee mug. I'll do it again for this image in the top right. I'll go into women's fashion this time. Select this woman here. Then in the bottom right, we'll just go and select another random image, making sure to hit this select button in the bottom right. And once that's done, you do get some options on the heading, the layout, and the card styles. You can also use individual cards styles here to add more customization to each of them. Once you're done, you just hit save here. And so overall, we looked at four different elements to add images to your Shopify homepage. We looked at the multimedia collage, the slideshow, the image with text, and the image banner. So I hope you have a better understanding now of how to add images to your Shopify homepage. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. I want to mention Profit Calc one more time. The one-click profit calculator available on the Shopify app store. There's a link in the description below. And if you search profit calc in the Shopify app store and look for this logo in the top left, you can find it there as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video.